it's a gorgeous day, ain't it, Ellie? I, uh, well, I walked outside and Ellie kind of got a little startled. All the light shining off my legs here. I ain't seen sun in years. We're going to do some tillage. We're going to do some drilling. It's going to be a mighty fine day to farm. We got two low tires up front, and that's about all I got to say about that. Ain't that the whole point of this thing? All right, I think last video we drilled the little like three acre piece to sorghum. But we still had cows out here. Well, we got those moved out. And then last weekend we got a nice rain. It was an inch 30. It's a little wet down in here. I'm not gonna be able to get to all this. Since we calved out here, there's a lot of ruts and stuff and it's starting to get weedy. So we're gonna hit this with the tills machine and get it drilled today. And then going forward, I don't know what that car's doing right there. I think they're watching me. I'm being watched a little bit. Going forward, it looks like we got a chance of rain every day for the next five days. Not gonna complain about it. We went from drought, drought, dry drought, to now we got some moisture. It's pretty uplifting. So let's hit this quick. Dad's gonna chase some cows out to pasture later today. I got a little bit of a cold, and I hope that's what it is. I've taken two tests. They've been negative so far. Also, last time we used this tractor, the AC wasn't working. And it seems like it's still not working, so it's gonna get a little hot. This is about 17 acres, so it shouldn't take more than an hour. Here we go. Woo! -hoo -hoo. We got moisture. down in there it's taking some risks I don't know if I got a fever and it's making me crazy but it's getting warm in here this AC isn't working you know we've had a couple of big wind storms in our calf shelter that was sitting about right here flipped over last week I took all the tin off so we can recycle that take it to the salvage yard and then the wood was kind of moldy and shot, so we just threw that in the garbage hole. Dad got the wind brakes and the bunks moved. We got the cattle out of here. We've had a couple dry end days. It's been about 70 degrees. You can see it's definitely moist, and I'm kind of flirting with danger here a little bit. But we got a short window here. I think it's supposed to start raining again tomorrow. So we'll get this sorghum in and it'll get a nice rain on it and hopefully start coming. I don't know if that's 80 degrees inside or outside, but it is certainly warm. It is definitely 20 degrees cooler outside than in that cap. So I see dad just got home. He was helping out at the station. So this is what we planted last video, drilled. And I can see sprayer tracks out here. Co-op got the spray today and they're doing the rest of our corn, I guess. See if we can find some, some of that sorghum coming up here. 
Got a little root. Oh. Got a little bit of a root coming. It's gonna take a few days for them to start popping up. We got some new rubber on the old 98. Doing your big stud. Oh, Black Hawk 95, you're gonna be special, aren't you? So I'm out here on the bow place pasture and I'm gonna let them out in the bigger part of the field. They've been grazing this little building site and getting hay, but I am ready to let them out there. I've got one wire I'm gonna stretch up on the east end, but I'm gonna open the gate and if they follow me out there, so be it. Got to get that tight enough that the calf can't get in between there. They go. So I didn't get very far checking fence. I found a broken wire already. So mm -hmm. I do have my stretcher and some wire along fixed before. So yeah. Right under the tree. It's Today's sponsor is Man Paws. We don't need no stinking fencing gloves. Man Paws. Not to be confused with menopause. Pretty peaceful out here. Great protection from sun and wind. No other cattle around them. That's always a plus, so you don't have to worry about neighbor's bull jumping in with yours or yours jumping in with his cows. Especially if you got different turn-in dates, that can be a real problem. I like to breed mine earlier, some guys maybe later. And uh, I've got a bull out with my cows and right across the fence. There's a bunch of cows in heat and they haven't turned the bull out yet, so then you have problems. And of course, their cows get bred before they want them to. So it makes for some unhappy situations sometimes. And uh, like I said, this pasture here, there's no cattle uh, for about a half mile. So, and actually a little closer than that, but they're mine. Kitty corner across, so I, uh, I can deal with myself. <clears throat> I'm kind of... Not the easiest guy to get along with, but <clears throat> I can usually, uh, we still sleep together at night, he and I. That ain't so bad. But you know, and then another thing is when you got guys with, maybe they have <coughs> Charlet bulls or Hereford bulls and they don't want their cows bred to the bull, you know, so. So the song of the day, songs, two songs by the same performers, the Raspberries, haven't heard about them in a while, huh? But you'll remember their music. Uh, go all the way and I want to be with you check it out it's a blast from the past man peace out all right dad's been working on some fence moving some cows to the next pasture uh, I just took a nap and let this dry out a little bit now it's about four o'clock so we're gonna start drilling it looks it looks pretty dry we're gonna get a little front wheel chew action going on and we'll start on the drier side and work our way over to this wet stuff and I might yeah yeah all of this was underwater about three days ago so we've made some headway
Oh, what is that? Oh, that's a, that's a bird fighting a squirrel. You wouldn't believe it, but you're seeing it here. That bird is attacking a squirrel. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. This squirrel is upset, and so is that bird. You ever see that before? A bird was jumping on that squirrel. Only at Sunny Farms, folks, you better hit that subscribe button because you ain't seen nothing else like that anywhere else. Also got to make sure our down pressure's good. Decent down pressure, especially in this tilled stuff. Makes it easier getting those blades down in there. And then if you check out right there, you can see the seed is coming through. So we got a bit of an issue. I'm glad I noticed it. This gauge right here is how we tell how wide we are open. And we're supposed to be at 3 16 and we're over, we're getting close to half inch. This side is still good. This side is way too open. So although this is only 17 acres, this is going to be the majority of the feed, raise and grow and harvest all in one spot. Because we take the whole plant, there's a lot of biomass there and it will fill that silage bunker in the back a decent amount. So between this and the three acres that we did last video, when it comes to weight, that's, that's most of what we feed our cattle with. And it's pretty nice that we calve in here and we put bedding out here for the cattle when they're calving and it's cold and so we put a lot of nutrients on here because we feed them out here and they poop out here and then you know we take a lot off when, when we harvest the crop and then feed them so it's just constant cycling. Little over half done, check out how we're doing with seed. We're getting low. That's scary. Cause you know when you run out of seed and then you keep going and you don't know, you don't know where you ran out, and then it's like, well, how much do I need to redo? And that ain't fun. But there's a lot left over here. Not so much left over here. We'll make it down there and then we'll find a bucket and we got two more bags that we didn't throw in yet. That's what's nice about doing the home pieces. If you ever need something, you're right there. Gives me a chance to get some sun on the old lags. You can really tell when the when that slot opened. We dumped a lot more seed out of that one as compared to this one. Boss man's coming to check it out. I can show you the world. Like a tornado over there. Just that much of the field left and then endros. Little 
glistening in there. Oh yeah, that's that's moist. Yeah, that's definitely moist. Oh, we're plowing. Oh, I hope I didn't mud something up. Little Cole's got his little bucket, and he's going to see if he's still got seeds in his toy. Got one pass, one round, up and back left, plus Andrews. I'm hoping that I don't have to open my last bag of sorghum because then I can return it and it saves me money. Even if I have to ride on the back and scoop it in towards the end, I'd rather do that than open another bag. Because then we just got to clean it back out again later anyway. Some of this low ground, if it gets dried up later, we'll probably seed that in too, more than likely to help keep weeds down. And it'll turn out a little. This is such a pretty plant, but it flowers for such a short time of the year. It seems like less than two weeks and it, it gets just goes into shutdown mode already, so. I don't know if they're just opening up. I think so. There's my wiffle sign. There's my house. I Hopefully, if we don't have to do any replant, that'll be the end of our planting for the year, except maybe, like the, I said, this wet spot. And Cole's supposed to be leaving tomorrow morning for his bachelor party, so I'll be home for the next three days just mostly feeding and doing what needs done and not what what has to be done and not what I want to you know, get the most important things done. Prioritizing your work, that's very important, getting done what has to be done, feeding cattle every day, making sure they have water, making sure they're healthy, got their mineral out there, uh, scout crops and that sort of thing, and then, you know, over and above that is the fencing type stuff and that sort of thing that uh, Cole and I both like working together better than doing it by ourselves. So. Well, there goes a helicopter. Wonder what he's checking on. Anyway, that's all I got for today. See you next time. Have a good one. Got a whopping 17 acres done today. A lot of work, I tell you what. Hope you enjoyed watching. Recently got to 200,000 subscribers, and we appreciate all of you subscribing, watching the videos, liking and sharing. Of course, watching the live about a week ago. Thank you for that. I'd like to see you next time. Have a good one. You girls up to? She's helping me plant some green peppers. Green peppers. And is that a pepper too? That's the green pepper. Oh, you're so, transplanting them or what? No, I'm planting more. Oh, you're just like staggering them out so you have them all season, huh? Looks like the wind's knocked him over. At least taking a break. Oh, she done. She's usually protecting me.